There's an energy revolution happening right now all over the world. And I'm here to invite you all to be part of it. The way we generate electricity is changing radically. We're moving from big centralized power stations to smaller community-owned ones. From dirty and polluting fossil fuels to clean and abundant wind and sun. From expensive, inefficient systems to affordable local ones that keep money circulating locally. This is a once in a century opportunity to bring our communities together in transformation with a new vision for the future and an economic driver to make it happen. It's also our best hope for tackling one of the biggest problems we've ever faced, climate change. Now these aren't just nice ideas, this change is already underway. A few recent headlines. Last year, Norway, they got 98% of their electricity needs from renewable sources. Whilst in sunny Costa Rica, they were already at 98.5% of theirs. Meanwhile, in Iceland, they were already basically 100% renewable for their electricity needs. And on May 15, 2016, for the first time ever in Germany, they got 100% of their power from clean renewable sources for the first time ever. Whilst in Denmark on some days, 140% of their electricity comes from wind turbines alone. They export the excess power to neighboring countries. The speed of rollout of renewables is staggering. In 2016, in China, two wind turbines were constructed every hour. And last year, around the world, half a million solar panels were deployed every day. But change can't happen fast enough because the existing system is wildly out of date and horrendously inefficient. The existing electricity system in developed nations is actually based on 200-year-old technology, the steam engine. Nearly 80% of the energy that goes into it is lost, much of it straight up the chimney as waste heat. Whilst around the world, there's over one billion people that still have no access to electricity. It's as if half the world is throwing away good food whilst the other half starves. Crazy stuff, but change is underway and you are needed to help make it happen. Instead of running our communities on imported fossil fuels that strip money from them, we could be running them on clean and abundant wind and sun. The technology is at the heart of community energy. Turn the energy system on its head because they come in small, modular units, perfectly adapted to local conditions. They give the opportunity for lots of people to get involved. You and me, your home, your business, your school, your village, your community. They can also form the basis of new, locally owned energy companies. These companies come in a range of forms, but many involve developing a new wind or solar project and raising the investment to construct and operate it. Local people invest to make it possible and get a return on their investment that's better than bank rates. And the sale of the electricity and sometimes a subsidy for green power make the business stack up. Building the new system creates jobs locally and keeps money circulating locally and creates a new commons in the process. My community came together seven years ago to build our first solar power station. We invited the community to invest in a first project on the roof of a building at the heart of our community. A large solar array on the roof of our local brewery. Because people do love cool beer. <laughs> the response we had was amazing. We had just five weeks to raise the £350,000 that we needed as well as to construct the system, a mad timeline sprung on us by last-minute policy changes. Our offer was oversubscribed, and we got the, con the system constructed and generating with most of the money coming from local investors. We've since gone on to build more systems and to train others to do the same. People from around the world took inspiration from our story and ran with it. 
This was brought home to me on a trip to Canada a few months later when I happened to attend a lecture on community energy. I was amazed when the first speaker stood up with a copy of our share offer document in their hand and cited us as their inspiration for setting up their, their own locally owned community energy company. It seems that good ideas really do have legs of their own. Now, there are hundreds of community owned energy companies across the UK and thousands around the world. My inspiration to start Avesco, our community owned energy company, came from hearing stories from Germany and Denmark. Germany's been an obvious pioneer of the energy transition, with over one third of their electricity coming from renewable sources last year, which is no small achievement for one of the largest economies on Earth. One of the beacon communities in the energy transition story in Germany was a small village in the south called Schoenhau. Now, they were under the radiation cloud from the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, and they came together to do something to get off nuclear. At first, they worked to save energy. Then, after a 10-year struggle, they actually bought back the local electricity grid. That was in 1997. Today, as a cooperative energy company, they supply 150,000 people around Germany with 100% renewable, renewable energy. They're an iconic part of what has become a movement. Today in Germany, there are over 900 community-owned energy companies. Popular support and real participation have been key to making the transformation in Germany. Not just protesting, but actually building the new system. The laws that have made this possible were pushed through despite opposition from politicians and businesses because there was a mass movement behind it. Today in Germany, the grid is awash with so much wind and solar power that on some days, the wholesale price of electricity actually goes negative. Business as usual is not usual anymore. In fact, one of the CEOs of the large utilities there said that his business model was collapsing because of the effect of renewable energy. Why? Because the large utilities own less than 10% of the new renewable generators that have been built to achieve this transformation. The rest are owned by individuals, you and me, farmers, municipalities, communities. This is energy democracy, where a wide cross-section of groups participate in the ownership, creation, and management of clean energy resources. Communities all over the world are making this shift, but we need more. Because there's a battle going on to stop the progress of community energy and renewable energy. The current energy system is weighted in favor of fossil fuels. Last year, production of oil and gas was subsidized three times the amount given to renewable energies. We have an oil man in the White House, and in the UK, the government has basically scrapped all support for renewable energy, but is pushing fracking, despite it making no economic sense. So it's a tough moment for renewables in the UK, but there is hope. There is hope because renewable energy is more affordable than ever. An important tipping point has already been reached around solar and wind energy in many parts of the world. Today, supplies from new solar and wind energy are the cheapest form of power without any subsidy in many parts of the world. So, today, I stand here before you as a messenger of hope to invite you all to be part of this new story. The one where we generated clean, renewable power for all. There are so many roles you can play in this story. Yes, you could dig deep like I did and create a community and energy company in your town. Or you could invest in one that's already running. You could bring your skills to one that's trying to get off the ground, whatever they are. Financial modeling, marketing, graphic design, community building. It's all needed. Or you could support one of the many community-owned energy companies around the world and help us to build this movement. 
But whatever you do, please demand that governments back locally owned renewable energy ahead of fossil fuels and end subsidy for fossil fuels. It's time to transform our society from one that's literally built on burning the remains of our long dead ancestors to one that's powered by light. We have all the technology we need. We have all the money we need. We have all the skills we need to make this shift. Now we need to come together and make it happen. The energy revolution is here, but it's not just for revolutionaries anymore. It's for everyone. They don't call it power for nothing. It's time to take it back. Thank you.